Hello, Mathies, Gatos here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find X and Y values on your graphing calculator. When it comes down to math, the majority of problems that we are solving are either finding an X value or finding a Y value. So let's look at how we can use our calculator to help us. The first type of problem is the X given Y needed question. So this lo should look familiar because this is the method we use to find Y intercepts. X value is given, it's zero, and I want to find the Y value. So the way that we do that is with our trace key. So the trace key says, if you give me X, I will give you Y. So you hit the trace key, enter whatever X value that you're wanting, press enter, and you will get the Y value that goes with it. The second type of problem is the Y given X needed problem. So this should look familiar because this is how we solved for X intercepts. So in X intercepts, Y is zero, and we want to find the X values. So since y is given in this case, the only place to put y equals values is in the y equal menu. So I go into y equal, I put my first equation in y1, and I put my value, my y value, in y2. Once I've done that, I want to get into my calculate menu, and I access that by doing second trace, and I look at my calculate menu, I want option number five, which is intersect. Once I get that, I press enter three times. Once to bypass the first curve, a second time to bypass the second curve, and a third time to bypass the guess option. So with that said, let's get graphing. Let's do example number one. So in this example, I have the equation y equals negative five x minus three, and I want to know when x is equal to 1, what is the y value? So let's go into our graphing calculator, go into our y equals, and we'll enter our equation negative 5x minus 3, and then we'll hit graph. Okay, so on this graph we want to know when x is equal to 1, what is y? So I go into my trace menu, and I enter in 1, so see here it says x equals 1, I press enter and the calculator tells me the y value that goes with that is negative 8. So when x equals 2, 1, y is equal to negative 8. So now that's my answer to that question. Let's look at a second example. In this second example, I have a linear equation y equals 4x plus 7, and when y is equal to 3, I want to know what my x value is. So again, let's go into our calculator. So we'll go into our y value and clear that function out. We'll enter in our linear equation, 4x plus 7. Now in this example, we're asked to find the x value when the y value is given. So we're told the y value is 3 y values always go into y equals. So let's hit graph, here comes my linear function, and here comes y equals to 3. So to find the value of x, I want to find where this graph intersects. So I go into second trace to get into my calculate menu. I choose option number 5, which is intersect and then press enter, enter, and enter one more time. And I see that my intersection point is negative one and three, so when y equals three, x is negative one. And I'll just record my answer there as negative one. So I hope this, val this video on finding the values of x and y when given the other value helps, and I hope to see you for the next one.